Hi, it's Rob Moore here. Now, the problem that you think you have is probably not actually the problem that you've got. Um, so the problem that you have is probably the most external layer. So you know when you have a problem, a challenge, a difficulty, maybe you get blindsided, something happens at the worst possible time. Uh, and you're like, why does this hap have to happen to me? Why does it have to happen to me now, etc.? Well, I, I always think that whilst we don't want that problem, it's better to know that problem. But the thing is, once you know the problem, that's the kind of the last line. That problem was probably brewing for a very long time. You just didn't know about it. So when it comes to any problems in your personal life, in your business life, in growing as an entrepreneur, in marketing spend, in you know, making more money, in managing your money, in whatever it is, um, usually the problem isn't the problem. It's usually your attitude to the problem and how you deal with the problem that's the problem. So if you have some kind of issue, um, all you can really do is deal with that problem and have a desire to fix that problem. Now, someone asked me on a one to one call, what do you think um, has made you a success over the years compared to other people that have maybe not been so, so successful? Now, I'm not going to go and do a live video on that because I feel that's a bit conceited and self-indulgent. But one thing I did say, and I say this with humility, but I do believe this to be part of um, the good things that I've done. This is definitely contingent upon that is um, a, a desire, um, sometimes forced through necessity to fix the frickin problem. Now, 12 years ago, I'd probably bitch and moan and whine about the problem or why me or avoid the problem or dance around the problem or hide from the problem because it hurt. But now I do have almost this self-inflicting sadomasochistic view of problem where, where it's like, I'm not going to say, hey, I love all problems. Problems are all solutions waiting to happen. Whilst, you know, I like that mindset, let's be honest, problems are problems and we don't like them and we can talk ourselves round them in our mind and try and reframe them and that's good. But in reality is, you know, we'd rather go through life not having any problems. And that's why people look for easy solutions, shortcuts, get rich quicks. That's why they give up too quickly, because they want the easy life. And even the successful people, uh, you know, and the millionaires and the billionaires, um, th th they still want things to be easier, quicker, faster, better. That's normal. So um, I guess where things have changed is I'll look at that problem and I'll go, you know what? I don't particularly want to do this. Um, I, why am I still getting these issues? I thought I'd fix those problems. Pick up the phone, book the meeting, go and see the person, sort the freaking thing out. Now, I don't like pain. So my view is if I go and tackle that problem really quickly, then I have a bit of a harder, more intense, but much shorter term pain. You know, like a punch in the face rather than the shit slow Chinese water torture, which builds up over decades sometimes. So uh, hold your breath, go fix the problem, fix it quickly. Um, and then at least, yes, while the pain is the pain in the moment, it's much shorter. You know how you feel when you've put things off or danced around a problem or not taken responsibility for it or palmed it off. You know that whilst that might feel more comfortable in the moment, that pain just builds and 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 builds, and builds until it gets so bad that something breaks, uh, which, of course, you don't want to put yourself in that position of. So really, successful people really... Um, effective business owners, wealthy people, what they're able to simply do is um, solve more problems, more meaningful problems, a bigger scale problems. Now, the next level of, um, you know, this, the problem is not the problem, is that once you've solved the problem, your, your maybe default thought process is great. I've solved that problem. That's gone. That won't happen again. But it probably will. It probably will happen again and again. It'll probably happen when you don't expect it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a problem because you could make contingencies for it. Um, so it will probably bar uh, blindside you. Uh, and then you'll go, well, why this again when I thought I'd sorted it? But you just have to solve it again. And then you have to solve it again. And then in the end, when you solve it effectively, it goes away. Or you get so used to this problem occurring and recurring that it just diminishes in, in your perception of how much of a problem it is. So you get better at solving it. Now, problems do not go away by themselves. Problems only go away when you get better at solving them and diminishing them to the point where your perception of them being a problem isn't really a problem anymore. But then what happens is you earn the right for a bigger problem, a much bigger problem. Now, the people who are making the biggest difference in the planet, on the planet, 
um, and you know, maybe making the billions are the people who are um, solving the world's biggest problems. You may not like Donald Trump, but he's in a position where he, you know, that role of being president is a, an attempt, whether good or bad, right or wrong, to solve the world's biggest problems. Elon Musk getting onto Mars is solving the world's biggest problems. Uh, and of course, you know, he has his big challenges that come along with that. Now, their problems are gargantuan compared to your very small problems. Uh, and I don't say that to demean you or myself, um, but I like to think how big their problems are um, such that it, it reduces the um, importance uh, and the scale of my own. So, you know, if, imagine if you're president, you've probably got to make decisions every day where um, your decision either kills 100 people or 10 people or 1,000 people or 100 people. You know, no decision you make is all perfect. And the downsides of, of decisions in much bigger roles and responsibilities is humongous. And you've got to live with that responsibility. But if you want to be more successful, then really what you've got to be able to do is deal with bigger problems. Take them on, own them, be a leader i.e. you deal with them and, and um, solve these problems and people behind you you protect and then they grab onto you for the ride i.e. they work for you and they're inspired by you and you know you, you blaze a trail for them so this is what progress results wealth and success is it is going from smaller problem to bigger problem to bigger problem to bigger problem um, solving them fixing them uh, not um, avoiding them uh, and um, you know not throwing your toys out of the pram when they come back uh, and they only go away when you get better at dealing with them through systems, through people, through experience or through your perception of them. You know, like when you get your first critic, you'll probably act like a petulant child. And I don't say that to patronise you. It's just that's how you'll feel. You know, the chimp inside you, you'll have this mas massive emotional lash out, lash out. You'll feel hurt. You'll feel ashamed, embarrassed, angry, wronged. I mean, come on, you know, if you've got 10 million Instagram followers or you're, you're a massive celebrity or you're the president or whatever, you get a million of them for breakfast and you just learn to diminish their, their importance. Um, and as I think, you know, like having critics and dealing with critics, trolls and haters and, um, you know, that kind of feedback and not taking it personally and carrying on with your mission. Really, that's all just good training. It's weight training to get you stronger. Um, because if you can't handle one, you can't handle a thousand. If you can't handle a hundred quid, you can't handle a million quid. So everything in life is a test to, to challenge you to grow through it, for, to, to get better at it and, 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 and diminish the, the problem. So then you, you, get, you earn the right to grow to the next level. Now, the world will continue to throw you problems. And the problems that, that are a re recurring nightmare for you, you perceive them as a recurring nightmare. But the world perceives it as more lessons for you to get, more challenge for you to grow so you can become more independent, so you can become stronger and grow and evolve, uh, you know, um, individually and as a species. So again, when you hide from them, all that happens is they keep manifesting in different forms. You know, like people who go through, um, you know, the same kind of relationship issues all the time. It's because they haven't learned to deal with that kind of person or their kind of emotions. Um, and, and they're attracting the same thing into their life. But that, that, the, those problems that they keep recurring in, that's actually feedback. It's feedback to go, here's another version of that problem. When are you going to get that you've got to learn to deal with this rather than hide from it or blame the world? Oh, you didn't. You avoided that or you melted out. All right, here's another form of the same problem. But then when you finally go, oh, OK, I get the message. The message is I've got to work out how to master this. Maybe I've got to deal with my emotions. Maybe I've got, a better, got, got to get better um, experience. You know, maybe I've got to look at it from their point of view. Maybe I've got to just stop avoiding it and start fixing it. Then when you fix it, when it comes next time, because it will keep coming, um, you just don't perceive it as much of a, of, of a problem. Uh, and therefore, it's not a problem and it's gone. But it's not gone because it's gone. It's gone because you know how to deal with it. But then you get the bigger one and the bigger one and the bigger one and the bigger one. And it's never ending. But, but your reward for this is leadership is growth, is more money, is more responsibility, you know, is more freedom, is more choice, is more impact, is more influence, is more reach, is more scale. Um, and you can't have one without the other. All right, so I can hear my kids are about to kill each other in the background there. So I better get going. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Keep solving those problems. Don't hide from them. And remember, your reward for solving a problem is a bigger one. So bring it on. Deal with it with passion. I think it was um, Churchill that said something like um, going from problem to problem to problem with no lack of enthusiasm um, or um, no loss of enthusiasm. I think that's his definition of success. All right. So I'm going to deal with my two problems out over the other side of the door, which are children killing each other. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.